working, it's going to be difficult having having two lions in the in the in the you know in the family. Because a, a man like Anton is going to show up as the man. The, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm handling this. This is my village. To have another man that has e to come in and have any type of say so at all, I can see how that could be. I difficult. definitely but but we gotta have, yeah. we gotta think about it. I, I yeah. want women to understand it. Just because a man is has a penis, don't make him a man. He could be a male. There's not a lot. Most men aren't lying. Let's mm -hmm. make sure that's understood. Okay. About right? That. So some men can raise another man's child because the real father ain't a lion. He's more mm -hmm. like a gazelle. You know what I'm saying? The lion is now here. And I believe, well, I, I mean, I believe in God and I believe in mm -hmm. everything is a reason, right? Right. And um, so first of all, before he goes on to, you know, to tell us why men should be stepfathers for other men's children. I hate when people say, oh, because he's not a man just because he has a penis, a penis or a dick. Like it's, a man is a man. He can be either a good man or a bad man. But that doesn't mean, you know, he's not a man just because he doesn't behave the way you expect him to behave. A woman is a woman. She could be a good woman or a bad woman. The same applies to a man. The whole, oh, he's not a man because he's not this. No, he's a man. He's just not a good man that's it now let him let him i'm gonna let him tell us why men should be should be stepfathers like my dad is a bitch ass nigga my step pops he ain't playing <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. you feel me so like i was already one that wasn't playing coming out the woodworks yeah so then if my dad was there hypothetically i i would probably class with him because he was already soft you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I don't believe that just because you gave birth to something means that you are the best one to raise that. Come on, let's talk you know, about that, that. That that person that you gave birth to, whether you're a man or a woman. So you believe nurture versus nature? Yes. I, nurturing that child is more important than, what, I, possibly I, more important than nature. I, I, believe, I believe that nature, Absolutely. see, here's the thing. We get it's so crazy. confused about nature as if you are the only one of this child. Uh-huh. There's three, four, five, six, seven, ten generations of nature within this child that you ain't exuding mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. You remember the Punnett That's Square? <laughs> in the Punnett Square, you had a one in four chance of being something. Yes. Right? So this child can have the, the bottom right quadrant and you might have top left. Yeah. You ain't mm -hmm. fit to build, I mean, to, to raise that child, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So maybe somebody else who is in that bottom right quadrant is going to be able to understand that man or that, or that young mm -hmm. woman or that young boy. And, and really help them grow Absolutely. into what they need to be. So you you would allow. So so here's the thing, right? So he just went on a public platform and called his father a bitchiest N word, right? Yet in the same breath, he just said some men, some some men are not men just because they have a penis. I do not care what your father your mother did to you i don't care if they were not in your life or they were in your life i don't care what they did but i prefer a person who doesn't spill their family issues on a public platform you calling your dad a bitches nigger lets me know the kind of man you are on a public platform i don't care what your dad is did right now now all i'm gonna care about is the fact that you are disrespecting the man who brought you into this world. I don't care if he does, he didn't take care of you. What about you choose the words you use wisely on a pub public platform about your parents, about your father? Sure, you don't have to agree with him, but at the same time, you don't have to disrespect him on a public platform. If you're so mad, go face him and tell him, this is how I feel about you. Don't go on a pub pub public platform and then speak about your father just like that and it goes to show that you really miss your father if the fact that you think being a man is disrespecting your father in a public platform now again you can tell us why men should be stepfathers uh, you would advise your son to get with a woman that already have children if that if that children, children, so you would be okay with that uh, mm -hmm. children, Take, remove yourself i don't, think, I don't think no i don't think nobody advises yeah. those scenarios for their but children, see, the, the right? Problem yes. is that but we, sometimes we it just happens because men. they just might be in love. You can't, they, you can't no, control who No, 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 you can't love. because marriage is a business first. It's a business Do first. Some. We know statistics <laughs> of what it is when men are, where, where children are raised in a certain type of household. 
We know what the statistics are, right? And so I'm not going to sit here and say a man isn't a man based off of some criteria that we make up, right? Because I, I, I use data. The reality is this. What we are doing is excusing bad behavior. And instead of us going to the mothers and say, hey, why are you not accountable for who it is that you decided to open up your legs to? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Because we ain't having that conversation. Mm -hmm. The only thing we saying is, oh, that's a bitch ass nigga. But you opened up your legs to him. He wasn't a bitch ass nigga when you when you had sex he with him. He might have been. When you left, when you know. <laughs> but, but my exactly. I, and it, some men do this too. You know, it's like uh, some men go out and, you know, talk trash about their baby mothers. But I'm like, bro, you made a baby with her. Didn't you know she wasn't shit when you were having sex with her? You knew. You had an idea, right? But you chose to ignore that. So now you can't be mad because of the way she acts. Now, that doesn't excuse the fact that maybe she's keeping the kids away from you. She's throwing you in child support and all that. My point is, you had the signs. There were some certain signs, some red flags that you missed. So it's like both of you got to hold each other accountable. So for this guy to call a man who doesn't want to be a stepfather... A bitch-ass nigga is like, okay, the mom knew when she was having sex with him that he was a bitch-ass nigga. Why is she acting like as if she had no idea? There were some red flags, but she chose to ignore them and went on to carry the child for the next nine months, thinking sh she's going to change the man just because of a baby. So any man who doesn't want to be a stepfather, that, that doesn't make him a bitch-ass nigga, right? But actually, that shows the kind of man you are. If you can go on a public platform... And first of all, call your dad a bitch ass nigga. That doesn't make you a good man. You're a man, but you're just not a good man. My point is, is <laughs> I mean, I mean, if we're, if when we, when we continue to do this, we validate bad behavior. What you is the bad behavior? Because you're saying that you can recover from this. When in you reality, can. we know statistically that that child has a much greater chance of going to jail, a much tr greater chance of needing therapy, a much greater chance of, of joining a gang has a much greater chance of being less successful and instead of us saying hey hold on hold that accountable so that this if don't what? happen to that's the next generation I think, I that's from step context. No. if what if that's, he has, my, my he has point a much greater is, chance is, of doing all that if to, what? Say, to say it's a guy's responsibility to raise this child based off of a village concept or a community concept or because he's a real man removes the accountability from the woman of actually making sure that she picked the right guy and to marry before she carried in the first place. So what well, happened? I married before I carried, and, well, but, and then but, I got a divorce. But that's not the norm, because what I see on Instagram and social media is people saying- I'm trying saying, to figure out what we talking about. What I see it's on Instagram yeah, and I'm, social I'm, media I'm, I'm is when, a when a woman get pregnant, regardless of whether she married, it's congratulations, sis. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I see. I okay. agree. Listen, Should we throw thongs disagree. at her? I agree with that. Like, usually, if you check on social media, and women are throwing uh, baby showers and stuff like that, there's never a father in the picture. Maybe one or two, but most of the women are like, oh, congratulations, congratulations. No one ever asks, where's the father? Where's the person you made the baby with? Where's the, ba where's the father of the baby in the baby showers when they're throwing all these baby shower parties, right? It's, all about, it's always about congratulations, congratulations, but where's the father who's going to be a very good foundation in the kid's life? They never ask about those questions. Maybe, are you married? Did you get married before the baby? It's always just congratulations. So the cycle keeps repeating. And then they expect a man who has nothing to do with that baby to come in and play stepdad so he can be called a real man. Like, come on, we got to hold each other accountable if we're going to change the narrative and the way the community is going. And that is the truth. I'm Absolutely. I I shut up. You do not believe that. You said that, you said that it's um, congratulating a woman, but if, if you want to throw accountability at anybody, throw it at the man that left it's the family. It's a small unit, minority. Right? It's a mm -hmm. small percentage of men that's having a majority of the children. It's yeah. most black men are not having children out of wedlock. That is a falsehood. And so when we sit here, when we want to solve for a problem, we solve for the majority, not the minority. And when you look at the statistics, most men, most black men are not having children out of wedlock. It's a small minority of men that's having a majority of the children with a whole lot of women. That's and that, is that you how do, that from a, how do a man or a not, How do a woman have a, a child without a wedlock without the man too? What I'm saying is <laughs> if, if we if we got 99% of the men and we said we're going to hold all of them accountable. No, I'm saying like I, I'm if, if the woman had the child that we're like, she ain't having it by herself. I'm so so did he. If we got 99% of men to do the right thing, 
It takes 1% of men to populate the majority of the women. True indeed. So even if you hold all men accountable, it doesn't solve for the problem. No, it's not about all men. It's about holding everybody accountable. We do, but men by default are, are automatically held accountable. Uh, let, me, let me go back to this stepdad situation for real, real fast because I have a stepfather, right? Mm -hmm. but I definitely agree with Anton. As a man, if you have a baby, if you make a baby with a woman, you're going to be held accountable regardless. That's either through child support, they're going to take your license, uh, they're going to garnish your wages. You're going to be held accountable certain, somehow, right? You, all you ever hear about is step, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Uh, deadbeat dad. You've never heard about deadbeat mom, right? Because obviously when they go to family court, the court is a word, the kids to the mothers, right? So then child support happens. And then if the guy can't even you know, support himself because the child support is too much, then he's probably going to go homeless. Or if he doesn't pay because he needs to pay his rent and now he's going to go to jail and now he has a record. Now he can't even be able to get a better job. Now he doesn't have his license. Now he can't drive to, to work and the cycle keeps going and then it affects the baby, the child in the long run. So the man is held accountable at some point. In fact, we have the whole term deadbeat dad. You've never heard about deadbeat mom. Go figure, right? So Anthony is definitely right. The man is always accountable all the time. But when it comes to a woman, it's always celebrated. Uh, congratulations. Then I've asked about even on Mother's Day or rather on Father's Day. You've seen posts about on Father's Day congratulating women for going, for playing both sides, for being the mom and the dad. You know what I mean? So it's even on Father's Day, even the fathers who do their job, they never celebrate it. So it's like, it's crazy. But he didn't raise me. My grandfather raised me, mm -hmm. right? So my step, I didn't personalize my stepfather because that's who my mom is married to. Yeah, that's who your mom chose. That's her relationship. I have examples. I have examples around me that mm -hmm. I don't have to look towards him. His only job, honestly, for me, is just to be an example of a good person, hum a human being, period. Right. I don't need him to be my father. I don't even need for none of that shit, mm -hmm. right? It's just simply just, be a good dude, treat my mom good. And I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't care what y'all going through. Y'all not old, being physical. How old were you when he came into your life? Um, I was in middle school. So that's what like. You was 12. already big. Well, I was big because I you was probably, need, you, I'm 6'5", I'm bro. I've been big. No, I'm saying you're, you, 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 were, you were older as a kid. You no, had already I, middle had schooler? whatever it was, was in you. No, but what I'm saying is. No, wait, no, I, 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 no, listen, no, What's I know. happening here? Okay, well, I mean, so. Because 11 years old is middle school. All right, cool. All right, let's reset. All right. So one of the facts that you gave in, re in regards to um, children that, you know, statistically mess messing up more so, that usually comes from a single mother household, correct? Yes. Okay, so cool. So if we take the conversation to it being a, a two-parent... Single, single mother household. So when I say two-parent household, I'm saying married, okay. having children, so let's, raising those children. Cool. So let's take it to a two-parent household where one parent is a step-parent. Mm -hmm. That's still a two-parent household, right? Yeah, but it's, it's not the same. You don't think and, so? And, and I personally, again, I I would never advise. It's not the same because the the kids will never look at that guy as the real father. Most times they disrespect him. Most, most times they don't show gratitude. I don't care how much the mother tries to tell the kids, hey, listen, he's your dad now. No, he's not. He's just a stepfather. He's here because of you. He's not here because of us. And it's even worse if the their real father is in their lives because... They're going to have to go on to, to live with him. And the kids are going to be confused because you have a stepfather who's giving him, giving the kids his own values and beliefs and his own culture. And then you have the real father, the biological father. He also instills his own values and, and culture and beliefs. So the, the kids are going to be even more confused. What do you guys think? I'll link down below the full video to Anton Daniel's channel. Go subscribe, support your boy. Till next time, peace.